One week after the state Senate barely passed an amended version of the original Medicaid legislation, a final House vote was the only thing left to accomplish. Well, Tuesday, the House voted it through, but because the Senate didn't approve immediate effect, the expansion won't kick in until April. Anthony Sabella has more. After months of deliberation, a 75-32 vote in the Michigan House of Representatives sealed the deal. Medicaid will expand in Michigan. Well, the 400,000 people who are getting the benefit will have you know, less people in emergency rooms, and uh, I think it's going to be a great thing for Michigan. The House vote was a swift one, coming one week after an amended bill passed through the Senate and nearly three months after the House's original 76-31 approval. But it comes at a cost. Last week, the Senate didn't have enough votes to move the legislation into immediate effect meaning the expansion will go into effect in April rather than January 1st. A final attempt to reverse the vote, remedy the gaping hole that you've left in this process, was struck down Tuesday. Senator Randy Richardville says 26 votes would have been needed for immediate effect, two more than the provision got last week. The question was whether we reconsider a decision that the decision makers already made. And, you know, uh, they thought, thought it through, and I think they were prepared to make that decision. They did. The vote's on record, so I'm not going to ask to, to reconsider it. On average, the Michigan Department of Community Health claims the state will miss out on $7 million a day in federal funds without immediate effect. Governor Rick Snyder says that may cause problems initially. What it does is presents more challenges over timing, over implementation, and some challenges at the first part of the process, but let's not get bogged down in that. Either way, the governor sees Tuesday as a win for the state. The important thing is the legislation passed. That's the thing we should always come back to. In Lansing, Anthony Sabella, Fox 47 News. The added amendments need to be approved by the federal government, and lawmakers and governors say there's no guarantees regarding waivers or health savings or co-pays. Meanwhile, the governor says that he expects to sign the expansion bill within a couple of weeks.